Hey there fellow outlaws. Today we're going to talk about installing Starlink's new Gen 2 satellite internet system. Uh, I did get this for my birthday. If you're curious about an unboxing, I suggest you go check out my community cause page. Uh, but for now, we're going to talk about uh, the installation. Was it easy? Was it difficult? Was this an improvement to what I had been using? So yeah, let's get right down to it, shall we? The first thing you need to do is you need to scout your location and make sure it's going to be good. Starlink does provide guidance with this with an with their app that they have that you download on your phone and you kind of aim it towards the sky scan the whole area it'll pick up all the satellites and it'll tell you whether or not it's a good site and mine first pick was a great site so that is where i put it and where that is is on top of the home for wayward girls because there was an existing uh dish network satellite dish on the home for wayward girls there was a spot where i could uh, slip the cable in so this really made it super easy four screws some white cock and everybody knows i got plenty of white cock and running it in an existing uh, uh slot really super easy install then you fire it up for the first time and it does this whole little boot sequence thing turns on starts to scan uh, I want to say probably in under five minutes it was connected to a satellite and I had internet connection now I have run some speed tests and it's been kind of interesting because I ran them both on my phone as well as on my laptop and I get much different readings uh, my phone then then on the laptop and we tested out uh, three different connections the first is actually the phone connection I do have a hotspot available for that so I tested the hotspot on the laptop as well I do have this hotspot that was tested and lastly we tested the Starlink and I did that on my like I said on my phone and on my laptop and when I did the speed test on my phone, using the phone service, I got 35.3 megabytes upload and 0 0.34 upload. When I did the speed test on my phone, now when I did the test, turned on the Wi-Fi, uh, connected up to the hotspot, uh, I got 13.3 for download speeds and 5.17 for upload speeds so the upload was a lot better on the hot spot but the download was was not as good now when I did test my phone using Starlink I got 23.0 download speeds and 11.1 .1 upload speeds. so I definitely got the best upload speeds um, from Starlink and considering that one of the main reasons why I wanted that is to improve my live streams, that was kind of a good thing. And yeah, let's run through the numbers of, of what it looked like on the laptop. Now on the laptop, using the phone's hotspot on my laptop, I got 26.54 download speeds and 5.71 upload speeds. Now when I switched over, when I switched over to the hotspot, I got 5.66 download speeds and 4.36 upload speeds. So clearly these hotspots, much better than the phone for your upload speeds for the most part. Um, but for some reason, not so good with the download speeds. Very interesting. And then last but not least, when I use good old Starlink, uh, for my laptop and, and keep in mind that I am using this with Wi-Fi not an Ethernet cable at all um, I got a hundred and seventy five point six eight megabytes per second download and fourteen point eight upload speeds so yeah definitely getting a lot better upload speeds uh, it did take me a little bit to kind of dial in the live stream settings but I think I got it got the live stream 
settings all kind of figured out and oddly enough my first coffee with cause I might have figured out part of my live streaming problem and it was not a hot spot or provider problem turns out where I set my coffee cup interferes with the Wi-Fi on my laptop now when I was using either phone or the Wi-Fi I really didn't notice it that much because uh, Streamlabs would not would tell me you know I'm always under a thousand uh, uh, kilobytes per second so when I got a drop it wasn't that drastic of a drop really however when you're cruising along at 5,000 kilobytes per second and you drop down well below a thousand every time you fucking set your cup a little light goes off so while I am happy with uh, uh, Starlink I don't think it was the majority of my problem anyways uh, I will keep you updated on what I think about it but this is installation as well as uh, some of the speed tests so you can take a look at, at it for yourself like I said uh, this is probably gonna benefit the whole eco village not just myself so that's why I'm putting it on the eco village outlaws page but yeah until next time peace love and all that hippie jazz.